If you're an NBA fan, you certainly couldn't ask for much more on Tuesday night's opener. After an emotional pregame ceremony where Kawhi Leonard got a standing ovation from the crowd, the Lakers and LeBron James silenced that crowd with a quick 9-2 run. But the story of the game, quite frankly, was the Clippers scoring 40 points in the second quarter. Now, the Lakers did come back to tie it, but on a night with star-studded players at every corner, Kawhi Leonard was the best player on the court. It was a very entertaining, exciting game. Um, both teams were on their P's and Q's. I think both had pretty good game plans. We were fighting to the end, so I thought it was, it was a pretty good atmosphere for the fans. You know, down the stretch, we had some, we had some careless turnovers, some costly turnovers when we were making a run. Uh, myself, I know I had three of them that was just very careless, um, you know, and, and they capitalized off of it. Defensively, I, I thought in the fourth quarter we pretty much showed um, who we were and, and, and who we're going to be and who we have to be for the for the remainder of this season. We got a ways to go, you know, um, you know like, like like you just alluded to, we've shown signs of it throughout the preseason and and tonight, but um, you know it's going to take time, you know, and, and we understand that. You know, guys will stay together. We'll get back to work tomorrow, and uh, you know, keep working on it. Incredibly exciting to think these two teams could both win 50 to 60 games this year, but they won't meet again until Christmas Day, the second of their four meetings this season, and you don't have to look very far to see why both teams have expectations of trying to win a championship this year. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.